What is up, Ghoulie gang? My name is Ghoulie, and welcome back to Ghoulie TV. Today, we are at a very special location here in Indiana. This is a place known as Cry Baby Bridge. We drove an hour and 40, or an hour and 35 minutes to come out here, so this is a pretty far drive for us, but we are uh, here to investigate it, and uh, we just have one question for this bridge. Is it haunted? Pretty small compared to what, what we've seen online. It looked like it was a lot bigger, but it actually is a little bit smaller than what we expected. But uh, anyways, we're going to see if it's haunted. We're going to do some um, spirit box and as well as uh, try the flashlight out here. And we're going to see if we get any uh, action. Uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty weird out here. Out in the middle of the country, there's a couple of houses close by. There's some cars that come down the street. But other than that, it's not too bad. What do you think, Connor? It's a small bridge. It's very small. But as you guys can tell, Bighorn isn't here today. He couldn't make it. So we actually have my twin brother behind the camera. AKA Mr. DeMizzle, go ahead and show yourself. What's up, what's up everybody, what's up? What's up, Ghoulie gang? Guys, I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed now, but uh, <laughs> it's not bad. The bugs are pretty pretty loud out here. Uh, as you can see, the floor of the bridge is like, kind of hard to walk on because there's like a grate and like you can easily drop your wallet, drop yeah, something don't. and it'll just go straight into the water. Don't so. drop anything right here. <laughs> it's, it's a dog. Yeah. You guys decide if you really think it's haunted. All right, we're gonna do some evidence stuff here with Gooly Gang and Gooly himself. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say a little bit ago, there is many stories about crybaby bridges and there's just about a crybaby bridge in every single state. This is Indiana's crybaby bridge. I don't know the exact story. All I know is that something happened with a baby, possibly at this bridge. I don't know if it's true, but uh, we're gonna see if there's anything actually here, if there's spirits here. So uh, let's check it out, guys. Sun's starting to go down. We can try to see if we can get a little bit of the spirit box. And um, yeah, I plan on actually making a ghost portal here soon, which actually involves the spirit box. But uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time until I do that. But it'll be a lot better for getting actual footage and EVPs of spirits talking to us. Let's do the spirit box. We're gonna check it out real quick. I know that it's not completely dark out yet, but we're gonna see if there's anything here right now with us. So we're gonna bust out the SB7 spirit box as well as my little Bluetooth speaker. But anyways, we don't have anything in our hands. So I'm gonna show you guys that this isn't faked at all. This is 100% real, okay? So we'll see if we get anything. Give me your best scary face, Connor. Go. Uh, I think this is my scary face. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna ask a question. Is there any spirits with us right now standing on this bridge? You say here? Here, I just heard here. Yeah? Yeah, here and yeah. What the? Say hello. I'm here. All right. Well, there's a lot of vehicles that come through here, but it's like one vehicle every, what, five, ten minutes? Five, ten minutes, yeah. Or so. It's Labor uh, Day weekend, too, though, so everybody's out traveling. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of people going to family, you know, get-togethers, grilling out, stuff like that. Um, 
But yeah, let's get the spear box back on it. I feel like we're getting something here. And I just, I want to get like an intelligent response. So far we've gotten some stuff, but I don't know if it's like 100% factual like evidence. So we're going to try to see if we can get it to say something that we know um, is 100% paranormal. So uh, we're going to try to go back up here on the bridge and we're going to do some more investigating and uh, see what we get. See if we can get a name. Let's do that. Let's see if we can actually get a name of someone. So if there's any spirits with us right now and you, you're here, tell us your name. What did that say? Like Blake? All right, so we're gonna try the spear box once again. We did have a little uh, friend start to crawl right next to our shoulders. It's a big old spider, so that's kind of creepy. We don't like spiders. I don't like spiders at all. Yeah, at all. So far, I mean, I'm not really 100% creeped out about this bridge yet. Mm -mm. I mean, I, I get an eerie feeling being out here, but it's not like Jerome. Jerome Cemetery, you get that feeling that something negative is there. I don't really feel like there's something negative really all that here. But there possibly is spirits here. We, we were getting something on the spirit box. We're going to try to see if we can get more. Here, do we want to have a flashlight set up? We can try that. Let's try the flashlight. It's starting to get dark enough. Try I don't know where you would set it. Put it right on the Right here. Make sure it doesn't roll off. Right on the bit. And the It says the right here, actually. Is there anyone here right now? Can you say hi? Can you say hello? You say what's up? I just heard hello. That was that hello? Yeah. Yeah, there again. Dude, that was a, that was definitely a hello. Can you tell us your name? Is there a Blake here? Brian? Brian. Brian or Ryan? Can you touch the flashlight? The flashlight's still sitting there by itself. No one's touched it. It's still on. Can you touch the flashlight for us? I know it says a bad word on the on the rail there. We did not put that there. We're not here to harm you. If you can come forward and touch the flashlight, do it for us so we can see it. I can hear you. That weird sound again I heard before. Do us a favor and touch the flashlight. No one's touching it. Do you need me to mess with it a little bit? Maybe you can touch it then. Is it too hard? Wait. Did you say wait? Yeah, you said wait. Dude, that was a creepy voice. We're waiting. Can you touch it? Give us a sign you're here. Roll the flashlight off into the water. I'll be I'll be glad to go buy another flashlight if you can do that. Come on, you can do it. Flashlight right. goes in the water and you see me going like this. Yeah. We're coming down here, down the other side of the bridge. If you're here with us, follow us over here. You following us? Let us know that you're following us. Oh, you're already, yeah. I get a cold chill right now, dude. That's what I was saying. All right, I turned the flashlight off. Can you turn it back on? Come on, you can do it. I'm gonna leave the spirit box there. No one's touching it. There's a flashlight. It's turned on. Can you turn it off or make it flicker? I see you touched it. No one's by it. Can you turn it off again? Or turn it off for Gotta show your hands. On? Got my hand right here. That's my left hand. This is my right hand. I'm holding the camera. My hands are behind my back, so. Go ahead and show. Left, no remote at all. So, no remotes, whatever, you see, myself. whatever you see, whatever you see is what you get. So I don't know why people think I have a remote when I do this, because I don't. I, mean, I have Connor here as a witness. He's only been on one yeah. video, and Second he has never now. really been paranormal investigating before. Mm -hmm. So he's only done it one time with us. Come on, you can touch it. No. I hear you. Is that you talking? The person that touched the flashlight? Who touched it? Can you give us a name? A lot of noises, man.
Come on, I know you're here. You touched the flashlight a second ago. I want to see it turn off. You turned it on. Can you turn it off for me, please? Let's see you play with it a little bit. Just like a normal flashlight, what? would you Who cares? I, I could have swore I just heard her here, or, you I mean, he, she could have said who cares. I have to go back and look at that. Wow? I think it just said leave. You just tell us to leave? Yeah? You just tell us to leave. Warning you? Yeah. I almost sound like it said warning you. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and look at the footage later and see what they're, what they're saying and, and kind of increase the audio so you guys can hear it. Like, why are you warning us? What's gonna happen if we stay here? Shortly after getting the warning you on the spirit box, we get confronted by a guy in a truck who aggressively tells us to leave. We did not know that this was going to happen. Did the spirit know that something was about to happen and was warning us to leave? All right, guys, as you can see, we're not at Crybaby Bridge anymore. And there's a reason why we're not there. We were confronted by a guy in a red truck that almost ran my brother over. But anyways, my brother was confronted by this guy and I couldn't hear what this guy was saying, so I walked up to him. Unfortunately, my brother wasn't recording it. You know, I, I wish he was because we would have been able to capture the way this guy was acting towards us. The guy pulled up, said, hey guys, you know, I thought he was cool, you know, he said, what's up, man? And I was like, how are you? And the guy was like, you realize you're parked in a private drive? And I'm thinking in my head, like, there's no driveway here. There's no markings for private. He was just being, he was being a little aggressive. I mean, I could, I could sense the tone that he was being a little rude. And I was just like, okay. So, and then my brother came up and uh, he told us that we had to leave. And my brother said, why? And the guy got real aggressive and he said, move your car. And so we, we got in the car and we left. The and guy, the guy literally, okay. So the guy, he, he acts like he's getting out of his vehicle, right? He acts like he's about to get out of his car. He has his wife in the, in the passenger seat. This guy's like really old. He's got glasses. He drives a red Toyota truck. Apparently, I don't know if he actually lives there. So I don't know 100% if he actually lives there or not. Maybe he's just trying to scare us off. But this guy was being, he started being more like aggressive towards us. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to respect this guy. I'm going to leave. And this guy was just being aggressive for no reason. Okay. So like literally, I know this guy saw my shirt. And if you're watching this video, I do want to say, don't be a jerk next time someone comes out there because there will be more people that come out there. And I know there will be. And you know, you can't be like that towards everyone because they are on public property. And if you come at people like that and you get, and you get your ass kicked, it's all on you because you confronted them. We did get some, some stuff on the spirit box. I can't really 100% say it's haunted, but there are crybabies that live next to Crybaby Bridge. So if you go out there, be careful. Also, watch out for this guy. He will try to confront you. And if he does, let him know that you're on public property. And if he tries to get you to leave, don't leave and just call the police because stuff like that will happen when you're investigating areas like this or anytime you're paranormal investigating an area, some people will try to scare you off. And whatever you do, do not do what he did. Do not turn off your camera. Keep it on so you have proof of what's going on. So guys, we are done. We literally are not in um, Madison County anymore. We are actually closer to home. So like I said, don't, don't, don't do what we did. Don't stop recording. Keep recording because you, so you have evidence, so you have proof if something actually does happen to you or anyone that's in your group because there are places out there that are dangerous. There's people that are dangerous. People will confront you while you're paranormal investigating and it will happen. You know, just stay safe doing what you're doing. Have fun doing what you're doing. We just like to have fun. That's all we do. Be respectful. Like I said, guys, do what you do. Keep investigating. Watch out for people like him. If they do confront you, make sure you record it. But uh, yeah, we're done. We're done for the night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, do not do not forget to um, subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit the notification bell so you know when the videos get posted. And uh, yeah, <sighs> we're out of here, Ghoulie Gang. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>